In this video, I'm gonna share with you five things that I wish I knew in my 30s when I was getting started that could possibly help you now. You should come rolling my sh Number one, we're going to start with your shirt collar. Your shirt collar is very important as it sits right below your face. Yet, a lot of men don't even really pay attention to what their shirt collars look like. Back when I worked in the menswear industry, I used to take people's measurements, show them the fabrics, and get their shirts made. So the guys were really into what kind of fabrics that they were going to pick for their shirts. But not once, I really mean that, not once did any of them really specify what kind of shirt collar they wanted with their shirts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a few guys did specify button down collars if they were looking for more of a casual shirt but as far as a dress shirt not one guy really mentioned specifically what kind of collar he wanted on his shirt they all pretty much deferred to me they're like yeah whatever you think looks nice you know and just to be clear back then i didn't know much about shirt collars myself so i know that my shirt collars didn't look right them just putting their trust in me goes to show you that a lot of guys don't really care about what their shirt collars look like or they don't even know what their shirt collars should look like so when it comes to shirt collars what you want is for the collar points to always fit nicely underneath the lapel. You don't really want the tip of the shirt collar to show. So that's something that you should pay attention to. If you're buying your shirts off the rack, always make sure that the collar points are long enough to be hidden under your jacket's lapel. How long should the collar points be? It really depends. I'd say you want it to be at least three inches. Especially if you're buying your shirts off the rack, you're probably not going to find that many of them that are longer than three inches. But that's really what you want to aim for. Me personally, I get a lot of my shirts custom made. So I usually specify three and a half inches to three and a quarter, sometimes four inches you know what I mean but if you're buying off the rack you want at least three inches number two since we're talking about something that sits right below your face wear nice ties this one sounds more obvious because they call it a suit and tie after all you know what I mean but a lot of guys overlook their ties like a guy would care about what kind of suit he's going to wear but not really pay much attention to the tie the tie is very very important as it sits right below your face just like your shirt collar I did make a video on ties if you haven't seen it I'm going to link it somewhere up here a lot of guys get ties as gifts for Christmas I mean I'm sure the people mean well but I think that you should really pay more attention to what kind of tie you're going to put around your neck your tie is the most easiest thing that you can buy as you don't really have to try it on and when it comes to ties like everything else you do get what you paid for I know there's some companies selling ties for about $20 a lot of those ties after wearing them like ones are gonna look like crap they're gonna start peeling you don't want to be that guy that's wearing a nice suit and wearing a really cheap tie it's really important that you get good quality ties when it comes to your tie I definitely recommend that you buy less and pay more you know what I'm saying number three be mindful of the quarters by the quarters I'm talking about the part of the suit jacket that's right underneath the buttons you want when you button your suit for the jacket to look like an X and not like a Y what I mean by an X you should be able to draw a straight line from the right shoulder to the bottom left of the jacket and from your left shoulder to the bottom right of the jacket as opposed to it looking like a Y the quarters is one of those things that if you never pay attention to it you probably wouldn't even realize it but now that you know what it is you'll notice a big difference between jackets that look like an X and jackets that look like a Y. Now if you're buying your suits off the rack, you are limited because there's nothing that a tailor can do to fix the way a jacket looks. It's either the jacket has open quarters or it doesn't. So just be mindful when you're picking your suits off the rack. You don't want to be out here looking like a Y when you should be looking like an X. Now the last two has to do with your pants. Number four, cuff your trousers. I don't know if it's because I've been wearing cuffs on my pants for so long, but seeing a pants without cuffs actually looks incomplete. Personally, I wear two inch cuffs on my pants. The size of your cuffs should vary depending on how tall or how short you are. If you're a really short guy, you don't want your cuff to be too high as it's going to shorten your legs a little bit, which is not what you want. You want kind of a straight line. So I would recommend about maybe like an inch to an inch and a quarter. But if you're a regular size guy like me, for example, I'm 5'10", I wear two inch cuffs on all my pants. If you're a taller guy, let's say you're like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you should consider having even taller cuffs, you know, maybe like two and a half to even three inches. But I definitely recommend that you cuff your trousers. It's a better look, plus it helps the pants drape better on your shoes. And last but not least, number five, you should get your pants with pleats. Once again, and if you're buying your suit off the rack, you don't really have a choice. Most of the rack suits are not going to be pleated. But if you get the option of either getting a suit made or buying a suit off the rack that has pleats, you should strongly, strongly consider that. There are two different kind of pleats. There's a reverse pleat and there's a forward pleat. The reverse pleat is a pleat that goes away from the direction of the pocket and a forward pleat is a pleat that goes in the same direction as the pocket. As far as the difference, it's not really a difference. It's more of a preference thing. The next thing you have to consider if you're getting a suit made is whether or not you're going to have double pleats or just a single one. Besides just looking nicer, the pleats also serve a purpose. They make the pants more comfortable when you sit down. So when you sit down, there's more give as there's more material on the front of the pants. So those are the top five things that I wish I knew when I was getting started. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Everybody gonna think that you're a hater.
and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.